Okay, this is the flame test prac, and uh, I'm just introducing the compounds that we're observing today. So we're looking at electron excitation of various metals. Now I'm just going to introduce um, each of the compounds. Now we've soaked um, toothpicks in various solutions of these compounds. Uh, we've got potassium chloride here, so you can see the toothpicks. Oh, maybe you can't see the toothpicks in there. That's potassium chloride. We've got sodium chloride there. We've got calcium chloride. We've got strontium chloride. We've got barium chloride. And we've got copper chloride. And of course we've got our control, which is water. And last of all we've got our unknown. So we'll be burning that last and you have to determine what that is based on what colours have we got. So the unknown is just one of those ones that I just showed that's been put in this jar. You have to work out which one it is. So we'll start with water and we need to do this on the hot flame so I'm adjusting that Bunsen burner to the hot flame. And thank you. What we want to be doing here is observing the initial flame colour not the colour of the burning toothpick, the initial flame colour, so that in that first instance that I that I pop that in. So we'll see, we'll see if we can get that happening. So that initial colour there, that orangey, orangey yellow colour there, I'd, that would be my observation that I would be recording there, orangey yellow. Um, you can see that there for, for water. We do not want to see that colour. Um, of the toothpick on fire. Now I'll set the toothpick on fire just to show you that the colour that we do not want to observe. So that bright colour there of that toothpick on fire, that's not what we're interested in. Okay, so that's not what we're after. So for water my observation would be orangey yellow colour. Uh, next one we're doing is copper chloride. Let's just pop that in. I might try it down the bottom just to see if I get that to go for longer without burning the toothpick. Yep, fantastic. So we see greeny blue colour there. Beautiful greeny blue flame. There's a little bit of yellow that popped up there. That was the toothpick burning. We don't want to observe that. Beautiful greeny blue flame. Those specks of yellow are actually the wood burning. Not interested in, burning, in observing that. That bluey green colour there from the copper. Fantastic. Next up we have got barium chloride. So we that. might put that down at that lower part of the flame again. So we don't burn that toothpick so quick. Oh that's interesting. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera, but that's a greeny, like a lime green yellow colour. Beautiful. Very interesting. Lime green yellow colour there. Very nice. Next up we've got strontium chloride. I think that seems to be working the best for us, that technique of putting it low in the flame. Seems to be getting evaporation of that compound before the wood starts to burn, so we'll go with that again. Interesting, oh that violet, deep red violet colour, fantastic. Deep red violet, beautiful, almost a deep orange, deep red violet. Very nice, that was strontium chloride. I hope you're seeing these colours on the camera. Next we've got calcium chloride. Well that's interesting. So we've got another reddy type, a reddy, not as red perhaps as the strontium, another reddy orange with a slight bit of pink perhaps, reddy orange pink colour. So we might do another one of calcium if we've got another one of calcium. That one didn't burn so well. Just to illustrate calcium again. So if you're paying attention on the on the video, calcium again. Thank you. Just have a look and see how that's coming up on the video. So we'll do calcium again. We'll enter that in lower at the low point of the bundle of flame. Yep, so a deep, deep orange red colour. Deep orange red. Fantastic. You're sort of getting the colour definition. All right. Yep, all right. All right. Um, next up we have potassium chloride. Oh, and 
that is a light pink, light pink violet colour. It's definitely not as deep as the other ones, light pink violet. I'm not sure if you're getting that on the video or not, but that's light pink violet. Very nice colours there. And last of all, before the unknown, we've got sodium chloride. And that is that characteristic rich orange-yellow colour. That's unmistakable for sodium chloride, that rich orange-yellow. So remember, that's the sodium there, really being excited. Sodium atom being excited there, in that rich orange-yellow colour. Now comes the unknown. And we need to link this to one of those compounds that we've just seen. Excited, which one is it? You'll need to track the video back and see which one you can match it best to. Uh -huh, so we've got that reddy, orangey colour again. Not deep, deep red, but a red, orangey colour with some hues of pink popping up there. So you need to match that in. Okay, so some deep red orange coming up. And that concludes our flame test. Hopefully you've entered those observations into your table and you should be able to uh, get some sense of electron excitation through, flame, through a flame test and uh, hopefully be able to do this practical report.